I'm Ken Levine, I'm the creative director of Rational Games, and we're here to uh, tell the world about Bioshock Infinite. So, in this game, we're talking about Columbia. So, for people that have seen the trailer and are trying to wrap their head about what they saw, what is Columbia? So Columbia is a city that was created, unlike Rapture, it was not, it's, this is not a city that nobody knows about. This is a city that's created around the turn of the century in 1900 by the American government, the United States government as a, I mean, think of the space of, of the moon landing in 1969. This was the moon landing of 1900. It was an example of American ingenuity and American technology and the, and the ideals of the American democratic system. Look, look what we can do. Look what America can do and to show the entire world, um, like a world's fair almost, what this country was capable of, and to show the, the dictators and tyrants and monarchs and the people living under them that there's maybe a better system. And that's what Columbia is, it's sort of this model city, but as it turns out, um, it's not just a world's fair, it's also a Death Star. And um, things, things go, um, things take a bit of a darker turn and Columbia disappears into the clouds. And, and out of the sight of humanity. And so who are, you, who are you, the player in this game? Because how does the story of Columbia kind of coincide with who you are as a player? So um, in this game, you are a character named Booker DeWitt. And unlike Bioshock 1, you're not a, um, you're not a, a cipher. You're not sort of a nameless, a nameless nobody. Because um, we felt we had sort of done that already. We really want to give you a strong identity. You hear yourself actually um, talk in the game, you hear yourself talk to other characters, you hear yourself, you, you drive a lot of your own directives as well, rather than just receiving everything over you know, a radio with somebody telling you where to go. Um, and you're a former Pinkerton agent. You're a sort of a, a kind of a shady character, and, but you're a guy who, who gets things done, and you're, who gets things done, and you're contacted by this man who wants you to b b um, find this woman, Elizabeth, who has um, been in prison for 15 years or so. Um, and it turns out she's in the city of Columbia, and this guy knows how to get to her. So for Bioshock fans, what's back? What are the things that they'll instantly key off of? I think the things that they'll key off of, you know, it's a first-person shooter. It's a first-person shooter in, a, in an, an environment that is both amazing and different and strange and weird, but also strangely familiar and feels consistent with reality as it's also inconsistent with reality. Um, I think also that it's a game about having a broad set of tools. It's a game about having a ton of options about how you approach any particular problem in the game. We've really actually focused from a gameplay perspective on expanding that radically. I mean, just even the, the nature of this city in the sky and we, that we had to build an entire new engine for to have actually floating the city actually floats in the game. Every, every part of the city can move around, can fall out of the sky, to be moving on these, you'll see in the, in the trail, on these skylines, moving at 80 miles per hour on these skylines, engaging with enemies at these huge distances, engaging with not just two or three enemies, but maybe 10 or 15 enemies at a time. But that demands of the player from, the, from, um, from their uh, gameplay tool set is um, really extraordinary. And we think that you know, that's core in Bioshock. Those elements are core that you have this broad tool set that you're asked to try different things. You're asked to try different, to come up with your own strategies. And you're doing it in this environment that is weird, but also um, strangely believable. Is there something in the teaser trailer that's out right now that people may kind of take for granted that you should tell them to look for? I'm not going to tell people what to look for in either the trailer or the, or the gameplay demo, especially the gameplay demo we're going to be releasing a little bit down the road, but it's something that they should be watching a few times. Um, because I think there are things going on in, in, in this game that may not be apparent right now. 
And so, last question. Uh, when's the game coming out and what platforms? You can find Bioshock Infinite in, in 2012 on PC, Xbox 360, and PS3.